Ava over here trying to get incriminating evidence against Sonny. And I said, how she know that he doesn't have cameras in there? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chelsea. This was General Hospital, June 15, 2023. Okay, so we're going to start with Ava. So she came to get Avery and everything, and Sonny leaves. So her and, her and Nina get to talking, and she was like, she better go to Sonny and tell the truth before Ned gets a chance to. My thing with that, though, is I don't think Ned going to remember. I don't think it's, it's going to come out right now. If it does, I'd be shocked. But, yeah, she tells her. She's the voice of reason they was talking about in the spoilers. She tells her she needs to go to Sonny and tell it because she leaves her ring. Nina leaves her ring because she knows that Sonny going to end things with her afterward. He finds out. And I said, look, Ava got a point. She should tell it, but I doubt it. I think when they go to check on Ned, I think when they go to check on Ned and he wakes up, he going to have memory loss. But, yeah, so Ava was like, she just stay with the girls. And she gets on the phone talking to Austin. Tell my son, okay, what, where would I keep the uh, incriminating evidence? So she's searching all over the house. And I said, look, she going to get caught. <laughs> she going to get caught. And I said, oh, my goodness, everybody trying to take Sonny down. It's always somebody trying to take him down. But, yeah, Sonny, um, he started on the beginning of the episode. He started talking about, you know, getting married in the fall, them getting married in the fall, and Nina wasn't paying attention. Then he's, he gets a call from Dante saying that Ned is – they waking up Ned. And so he was like, maybe – Maybe uh, Ned will finally start telling the truth and everything. I said, here you go again on this Ned stuff. Here you go again on this Ned stuff. But then he was like, okay, or maybe Ned actually didn't do it. Maybe they was trying to get to me and all this stuff. I said, or maybe it's your fiance who did it. But, yeah, Nina's worried now. She on the edge. She just trying to consume herself with work and everything. And she's talking to Ava about losing Willow and just losing Sonny. And I said, you should have thought about that. You should have thought about that. And then, in regards to Carla and Drew, they talking about, look, Carla wants her herself in. Drew wants her himself in. They both talking about, they, I take the fall. I do it. It's my fault. No, it's my fault. I'm not letting you turn yourself in. My thing with that is, Drew said that uh, at least Scout would be left with Sam and Dante, but Donna would be left with Sonny. And I said, well, when are these people going to learn? When? How you going to, why everybody keep talking about Sonny to his biggest supporter, Carly? <laughs> I said, that's his biggest supporter. Like, y'all keep um, attacking his character or talking about who he is and the life he chose, which he did. But she don't care. She know that. She's still defending him. She still destroyed the flash drive. And I said, Drew doing all that talk. She going to end up back with Sonny one of these days. Sometime this year, more than likely. But, yeah, um, they still talking about getting Ned to confess and everything. And I said, yeah, this is probably going to drag on. I asked the question, like, when do y'all think it's going to be revealed that Nina is the one who called the SEC? Do y'all think it's going to be during the wedding or before the wedding? I was going to do a separate video, and I was going to say, okay, it would be good to set her up. I think I did come in on that a little bit, about setting Nina up, and then Sonny finds out, and they got Willow pretending like she – actually wants a relationship with her and everybody just exposed Nina or something like that. Now I don't agree with y'all know what I said. I said I don't agree with the way they did Nina, um, because they all wrong in this scenario. But I said that would be interesting though to see how far she thinks she got a daughter, she thinks she got her uh husband and all that stuff. But yeah, uh, what else happened with Carly and Drew? Uh, I think that's all that happened with them. Gladys. So, Sonny, she at the hospital. She's texting. Wu takes her, says she on her way back in town. And she's talking about she needs some more time to get the money. She needs some more time to get the money and everything. And she bumped, I think Sonny bumps into her or something. And she dropped her phone. And I was like, Sonny going to see the mention. But he didn't see it. And he was like, why is she so jumpy? And I was like, that was her opening to tell that she owed this lady some money and try to get out of trouble. But no, she didn't take it. So I'm guessing they leading it up to a bigger storyline. Who knows? Because you remember, Wu said that she she wants something from Sonny. I don't know exactly what she wants, but she wants something from him or whatever. So they leading it up to that. But yeah, Sonny didn't get to go in their room or anything because he stopped and talked to Gladys. She's still whining about, you know, Sasha ending, ending the uh, guardianship and everything. Um, Cody. So Cody was uh, just spending time with Leo and just comforting him because he was worried about Ned and everything. Trace came talking to us to him, talking about uh, him being a thief and all this other stuff. I said, with all the stuff your family done did, I wouldn't be the one to talk. <laughs> I wouldn't be the one to talk, but Brooklyn came to defend him. And I said, look, Brooklyn's going to get tired of Tracy mess. Watch. She better tell Chase before it's Tracy do. She better tell the truth or that's going to be another problem that comes in between them. But, yeah, uh, hopefully Cody's name get cleared soon. Who else we got? Uh, we already talked about Ava, Sonny, and Nina. We haven't talked about Portia now. So Zeke finds out that 
Jordan is Curtis's ex, and that's the ex he's, that she was talking about kissing. I said, see, should have kept your mouth closed. And he's like, he he asked Jordan if there's something she wants to tell him. And I asked the question about uh, why was Zeke looking at Spencer like that when he was introducing himself again or whatever. I said, was it because of what Portia said or what? But, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so Zeke finds out who Jordan is and everything. She asked him not to say nothing. I said, What's with these people? <laughs> she asked him not to tell his sister that she been kissing, that uh, her husband had been kissing his ex and all that stuff. And they showed it like Zeke was telling Jordan, not telling Jordan, telling Portia or whatever, but some tell me he ain't going to tell it. And then Portia going to be mad at him. But if she do, if he does decide to tell, I wish he did tell. Because, you know, they already got enough storylines that have been dragged out. But, yeah, I said, I hope he tells, but I doubt it. But Jordan basically said it's too messy for them to c- continue on with each other. But I said, I don't think this is the last time that they're going to be together. And I actually want to see how Curtis reacts to seeing Portia, not Portia, to seeing Jordan and Curtis together. Not Curtis, Lord Jesus. What's the main name, Zeke? Zeke and Jordan together. I want to see his reaction. I want Portia to see his reaction. Uh, but, yeah, they was just having a little ce- continuing the celebration from yesterday, Curtis's birthday party and everything. Marshall said he's moving out. Um, Spencer came to give Curtis a gift. Look, Portia confronted, was talking to us to um, Spencer, and he peeped game. I said, I'm glad he peeped game. And he was like, he going to always make time for Trina. And then now Trina's starting to doubt because he had to leave the party to go pick up Ace and everything. And I said, look, Harry, I already said it. I said, Portia, all she got to do is wait because his obsession with taking his brother from his ex is what's going to cost him, Trina. Just give it time. You ain't got to go plotting and planning and intercepting or nothing like that. Just give it time or whatever. But, yeah, uh, I think Curtis said he was going to still keep an eye on Spencer, even though he knows he cares about Trina. But, yeah, Trina's starting to just see how he jumps every time. And I said, Esme using this to her advantage anyways because she see how he reacts and how he responds. But, yeah, what else happened? I already said Marshall said moving out and everything. Um, Portia was focused on Spencer again. I think that's everything that happened, y'all. Let me make sure. Hold on. Yeah, but that's basically it, y'all. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, this is have a great rest of the day and be safe.